Now, of course, the North has a proud tradition of producing some of the world's biggest selling music acts. Dire Straits was one of them. And today, the band's lead guitarist was back on Tyneside to officially open a new recording studio at Newcastle University. The studio will give students the chance to produce their own CDs. Roderick Stewart reports. When he gets up under those coloured lights, he's going to play that thing. He was at one time heading one of the best-selling rock bands in the world, Dire Straits. His career is less high-profile these days, but Mark Knopfler is still regarded as a legend on the guitar. The man who spent most of his younger years in the Northeast was in Newcastle today to officially open Newcastle University's new music recording facility. Half a million pounds has been spent on new studios and top-of-the-range recording and mixing equipment. In my time, of course, there was nothing like this, and uh, I would have given my, uh, my right arm, I think, just to have uh, to been a part of this. Um, yeah, it's just great to give kids a chance to to understand what it's, what, it, what it's about. There's a buzz of excitement at the university caused by this recording studio, which replaces older, less adequate facilities. You could make your own pop record, your own dance record, uh, absolutely up to the right sort of technical specification and put it out on the market and uh, nobody would know it had been done in a university rather than, rather than done in a commercial studio. <laughs> if you're too young to remember Mark Knopfler, you may recognise this, the theme tune for the film Local Hero and since adopted by Newcastle United, his influence on music has been immense. Now, it's got to the stage of the programme...